YouTube people, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're all right. So today we are going to make um, a quill with an ink pen and some ink. Um, first, I'm gonna tell the things you'll be needing to make for the ink pen and on the half of the video, I will be telling what you need to make an, the ink. So first you'll be needing an ink pen, a piece of small piece of straw, and uh, a plain paper so let's get started okay for safety you will be needing gloves i said gloves because you don't want any ink on your hands so i said so let's get started by okay so now um we are gonna open up the ink pen okay so i have removed the cartridge here before so if you can see this and it does have some ink inside it so we are going to empty it um i'm going to take this small piece of cap and and if you can um for the ink, I will tell you afterwards, but for now, let's just clean the cartridge. Okay, a little bit more. And you will be needing loads of tissues to clean up not available you can use um an old cloth which you can clean so i have one tissue here so i have some ink on my hands you one minute as you can see i do have some ink on my hands so let's clean that up I'm cleaning it off but it's not coming so let's leave that like that and now okay so we are going to see if this ink is writing on this paper the pen is still writing if it's writing it's okay and if it's not also it's okay okay it's writing a little bit But it doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna take this this part of the ink pen and clean it up. As I told you before, you will be needing a straw that's a compulsory and um take a scissors and just cut a little bit of the straw. Okay, now we have cleaned the outer part of the pen and I'm just gonna fold it. And now I'm gonna just twist this part here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it inside so the insides can also get clean now i want to take this straw and just insert it properly so you can see the ink on the tissue so that means this is all clean okay so now, coming to the ink first, we'll complete our ink. You can take um, a small bowl, bowl of water and another empty container. I'm not using Korean bowls because these are already, already used once. So um, the clean ones, they, if they get dirty, the ink is super hard to clean on vessels 
or utensil so I'm using an already used one and erased one so first to make the ink you will be needing paint I'm going to use black paint water and this old ink small a small portion of the ink is enough and a container to put the ink in so we are gonna take some water and just pour it inside the empty container a little bit is enough And now we are going to take the old ink and add it inside. I have poured the ink inside and you get a light gray and black. But mostly if you keep it properly, you will be able to see the clear water and the black water together but not mixed okay now until it gets properly mixed i'm gonna start by mixing it mix 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 it's like i'm making a potion okay now coming to the paint so i clean the cap you can see Coming to the paint. Oh, I'm sorry about that. One second. Done. Now let's just open the paint. Cool, right? I don't know why I said cool, but for me, it looks like it's cool, yeah. I'm gonna take the same stick I used for used to mix the water, ink and the water and now I'm gonna put this inside and take some paint. A little bit is enough. And uh, this only black is not a compulsory. You can use any color you want, any color ink. You can use red, blue, yellow, white, but not white. If you are writing on a black page paper, that time you can use white. Brown, green, any color you like. Pink. Okay, I'm just gonna clean the stick. stick is clean enough now we are our ink is ready it's nice and black you can use blue so i have already made i have already made one box full of it for, just for the video this is actually to see if it works or not but it worked nicely so we are gonna pull this inside this i'm gonna be act i'm gonna be right back after i put this
and I just transfer this inside this so the ink doesn't spill out when I open but unfortunately it got spilled when I open it it's okay I clean it up now coming to the ink if you have any excess water inside it you can clean that I have added some water inside take your stick or spoon or anything you can you can add literally anything and let's start by mixing it up so mine is coming a little gray as I want it Okay, now I'm gonna mix and come back. I have completed this. I mean, I cleaned this container. There would have been there, but that's stuck to it, so there's nothing we can do. I want this super, super thick. So, if you want, you can add more black, but I don't want to because it will waste the paint. But if you have an old empty refill of a pen and oils empty is not enough, if you have a full refill of any color you like, just cut open it and add the refill inside so it comes. So just to check, we have not made our chrome yet. Just to check. I am gonna take this and just dip it inside and start by writing. Let's see if it works. Mm -hmm. One minute. Yes. It's writing. One minute, I'm gonna be back. So sorry for the interference, someone came. Okay, so. No, I'm just gonna write that. It's writing. So we don't need to worry about the ink anymore. Okay, keep the ink nice and secure. Good. Now coming to the quill. So, this is the part, the part of the pen, I'm, just, I'm not going to fix it, but I'm just going to show you how it was before and how we are going to make it. Just uh, that and uh, done. So, Coming to the quill. First, you will keep aside the pen. Um, if you have real feathers, you can use them. But if you don't, you can use a paper feather. Which I'm going to show you now. So, I will just be drawing a small shape of a big super big feather one minute it's gonna be super big because we want it to be nice and big okay it doesn't matter if it's not perfect oh my goodness that's super big 
And I want to run that big one. I'm just going to turn the page and... Oops, my sister did this thing, so please don't mind. Okay, as you can see... Done. This big is enough. I'm going to cut it out. Okay, if you want yours, like... Truly Hogwarts, um, I'm going to paint this as the color of Gryffindor. You can do Slytherin, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw. You, as, it's your wish. Any color you like. Okay, I'm going to paint both sides. color of Gryffindor and I'm gonna come back. Bye! As I said change of plans, I made these two feathers, I mean kind of paper. They look like a rabbit's ear. You can see this. So, oh, and if you add these two, same here and a little bit of, you know, clay small piece of clay here it's gonna be a dragonfly okay so now we are going to take the painted nib tissue make sure you are cleaning every one of the pen parts because we don't need excess ink inside it will clean and I'll make it clean and just make it even more worse. Just a bit of water. And voila. It's coming off. Okay, so we finished cleaning this part. We just have to finish cleaning the inner part. So for this, I'm just gonna twist the tissue paper nice and pointy like this. And we put this inside. So if any ink is inside, so it will come. There you see that there's water. Okay, nothing is inside. So it's good. Little bit is there and <coughs> we can clean you are gonna clean this part here. We have finished cleaning this. As I told you before, we need an old or any straw. We are just gonna place this inside. We have some ink on our straw, but that doesn't mind. Just place that there. Done. You see that? But this part here, this is too long. As you can see, I'm just going to take one of our feather and put that there. This part here is super long, so we are going to have to cut it. This much is enough. Yeah, as we have two here, let's try putting both of them in. Done. So this is nice and tight. It's good. 
just draw that and come out or I think I'm going to all come out these are like cute little binoculars but you know let's try putting them got some black tape here um this will present like a show that this pen is black if you have blue yellow green red any color shape you can just put that right on top of the straw you can use any color tape um but i'm using only black so you can repair represent the color nice and clean but as other colors look dirty i am gonna just put black so i couldn't color this part but that's all right see that there okay so now we are gonna have to it's okay if it's a little bit down because we need a proper grip but first make sure that both of the feathers are of the same height and the same length Even though they are make a proper shape to give it a nice and clean one. So now we are going to come by um, attaching both of the feathers to our pen. Literally you have to stick both of them nice and proper just like that. So we will be needing tape. this cap as a stopper for the pen it's simply rolling down like it wants it wants to go somewhere for this part you can use any tape you would like any tape or anything you like and if you have double-sided tape you can use it I'm gonna just start by rolling this tape just neatly like that and put this right here and I'm gonna stick that wait a minute that's a bit too down yep Okay, we are good here. Same goes here. I just did both sides and I have got this excess here, which is going to be cut out. And... We have 
this part here not taped so we are going to tape it using the same method we did here in this part there i rolled this here i'm gonna place it in the outer corner and stick The sound of this is looking like I'm doing an ASMR video. But I am not. Okay, and I'm done with doing this. Still got some many X's. So I have an earbud here and I am going to take yellow and red paint I'm going to dip it in a little bit on a small cap It's so blue is enough Make some orange And we are going to take black to super little. I'm going to take this from the cap. But if you don't have anything in the cap, dip it from the inside. And I'm going to just do it, place the paint right there. both colors now I'm gonna take our nib I mean quill and start by rubbing the orange up right there so this shows our house color well mine is Gryffindor so I am going to color this as Gryffindor. That's why I told you to add both colors in it so it gives you um, a Gryffindor color. I paint on my hand. Well, if you want to separate both of them, you can just cut in the middle. Ooh! Take orange and just add a small gray shade there. Boom! And this is definitely needed because these colors dry super fast so you can add a large quantity of water literally a big bow done now black now black comes after the black is super gorgeous it 
question. And I'm gonna color a hole with this black. A hole. Both sides, back and front. I finished coloring it and this looks like a fire. But I don't want it to look like fire. So now we have our scissors and we are just gonna put some small lines to give the effect. It's so small. You can see these three lines there. Oh, let's just clean that off. Oops. Done. So here, both of the sides look got cut. And I'm gonna complete this and continue. This is done. I have completed both the sides. So our quill is ready, but not our ink. This is super, super light. We don't want it that way. We have some powder here, and I'm gonna put add this inside for the thickness. You can use any powder, literally any. Done. That's literally, I don't know what that is. Oh. oh my goodness, they look gross. That's lucky for me, I came prepared. I have water. removed all the literally gross stuff ew but i think that's okay nothing will happen that's just air bubbles and the good news is we have our ink ready with some powder in it it doesn't matter okay so now we are gonna make different colors. 